I'm Kevin Stay, owner of Halo Power Solutions, and I'm with me. Oh. <laughs> Solutions. I'm Kevin Stay, owner and master electrician, and today I've got Bob Murren with me. And uh, Bob, welcome to the show. What are we talking about today? Well, Kevin, um, come across these receptacles, and uh, they really stick in my mind of what can happen when you don't really know what's going on in your home with with your electrical system. So, Kevin, uh, I'll just hand this off to you. And so we both can kind of look at it look together. At these, look at these. Isn't that amazing? They're just burnt to a crisp. And it's something that's I think has been around in a, in a building for a while, but uh, it is amazing that it actually got hot enough that it. Yeah. It, look at that. It, no, it, it's it, curved. It, it, it's curved. It's curved. It's completely deformed. It's melted. It's melted, which means it, it got to a temperature. And you can see at the back. I don't know how well you can see it from the camera, but it's it's really burnt here. And so the, it's got very, very warm. And I, I, and I guess really what it boils down to is what really caused this is, is kind of the quality of installation. Would, would you agree, Kev? Yeah, I would. Um, <clears throat> these plugs have been uh, what we in the industry would call them backstabbed, where they've got a quick connect in the back, and the wires can be just pushed right into the back, and it makes an electrical connection. But time and time again, we see these connections fail, especially when they're under a heavy load. Uh, that load, typically, in my experience, has been space heaters. And, uh, what, what have you ran? Well, that's the same same thing. You know the. What, as soon as you said space heaters triggers to uh, last winter when uh, it was really cold in, 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 a, in a couple of weeks there, and, uh, the consumer uh, doesn't really understand, a typical consumer uh, doesn't necessarily understand what is involved when you start putting, like Kevin said, a heavy load. And you know, a heavy load like a, like a heater uh, put into a room and, uh, and it's not attached with the proper size of extension cord and I'm sure you know you could add to that <clears throat> yeah we typically see it uh, especially in Shore Park in the older neighborhoods uh, you know cold basements in the winter time so yeah you run over to Home Depot you pick up a couple of electric space heaters you plug them in the basement's nice and warm but what you don't see happening behind the wall is that uh, due to the huge power draw that those heaters uh, consume it really starts overheating these old connections. And when you've got a plug like this one, you know, this is probably a 20 year old receptacle. Mm -hmm. These connections have been stabbed in the back here for a long time. You can imagine how many times uh, electricity has flown, flowed through this old plug and really uh, caused a lot of heat on it to the point that it melted it. And the homeowner didn't know until things started burning. I mean, this is this is probably one of the worst I've ever seen. I, I don't know. Yeah, well, it is. But you know, Kevin, you just reminded me that it actually can happen in in that that was in the winter time. Yeah. But it can actually happen in the summertime. Um, and and and, it, and I know I just came to my mind. Uh, it was in my own home. Um, the air conditioner that I had in the master bedroom. Is one of these air conditioners that you oh, can the plug portable, in the portable, portable ones? Yeah. yeah, that has a hose and goes oh, out. They the, draw a lot of power. They do draw a lot of power. Yeah. And I had it plugged in uh, properly. I didn't have an extension cord. It was plugged right into the wall, and um, I noticed when I walked into the, one of the spare bedrooms, I could smell something, and and I thought, what the heck? And you know, being uh, you know with Halo Power and, and you know forty years in in, in the industry, maybe more. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> really that but um, uh, it it resulted in me you know doing some diagnostics and then and I, I went and and found my uh, temperature gun and so I just started going around to the different outlets in uh, in the spare bedroom mm -hmm. and I realized that wow this thing 
really was a lot hotter than the ambient wall around. And so I pulled it apart, and just like these, the, the wires were not wrapped around each screw. They were stabbed in like, what do you call yeah, that back, again? Stabbed in the back. Stabbed in the back. Yeah. And uh, what happened, or what was happening, is maybe better worth saying, is you have your, your, your power panel that is connected to a number of these. So the power panel in this case, the, fir the wire from the power panel, came to this plug in the spare bedroom and then worked its way over to the plugs in the master bedroom. And the load uh, in the master bedroom was actually going through this this plug. And a lot of people all, you know, don't really understand that. It, it, they, they think that, you know, each breaker, you know, is isolated to this, but no. Uh, you can have a number of loads and they can add up and uh, the power comes in this one and then is distributed out to this next yeah. one, you know, and, and that really can be uh, problematic because, again, uh, this, you know, as you said, Kevin, it, 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 this can heat up and then it uh, actually starts causing a bit of uh, carbon in, on the wires and, sorry, I'm getting a bit technical, but after you've been in the business 40 years, it just sometimes you you talk too much around it, but it, it gets carbon on it, and then that carbon causes resistance, and that resistance starts to act along the, with a the heat. It's almost like turning into a little toaster. <laughs> and it was toasting. Yeah. And, it, and we, yeah. Yeah, you probably could have cooked some, uh, cooked some toast. Yeah, and it, it, was, it wasn't a heater, but it's, you know, an air conditioner pulls a lot too. So you, you, you sometimes only sort of think of these things uh, um, you know when it's it, when it's winter time, again, you know like you said, air conditioners. Yeah, air they, even your hair dryer. I mean, a hair dryer. Well, there you go. Draws fifteen hundred watts. That's a lot of electricity. That's actually one old breaker for. Yeah, it yeah. really is. It is. Yeah, and, and if it's going through this, and you have something else, you know, you're you're taxing your system right to the top, right? Yeah. So if you've got a home that I would say is about 20 years old and you still have your original receptacles in there, you can imagine how many times devices have been plugged in and unplugged, vacuum cleaners, heaters, you name it. Uh, they get worn out. <clears throat> and a real telltale with that that I find in the older homes is uh, when you find a cord plugged into an outlet and it's literally just falling right out. And it's a real safety concern because with that loose connection in here can also cause heat, which can result in something uh, hopefully not as bad as this, but this is an issue that, that can definitely pop up. So one of the services that we offer with Halo Power Solutions is a receptacle upgrade throughout your home. And it's really a great, it, it, it's a great upgrade um, because not only does it make your home more modern with the uh, new style receptacles we put in, it's also safer because whenever we do a receptacle upgrade in your home, we use what are called the tamper resistant receptacles. Bob, what, what is tamper resistant? Well, tamper resistance uh, gives you another step that you must go through before you can put something inside a receptacle. Uh, for example, a fork, <laughs> which, you know, uh, one of my grandchildren uh, you know, when there, I think she was two uh, or two and a half, you know, walking around with a, with a, a metal fork trying to, to put it in here. Well, back in the old days, uh, we would put a little piece of plastic and uh, you'd have to, you know, plug the, block it off. Yeah, the childproof. The childproof. Oh, exactly. You know, and, it's yeah. just a, and then, you, then when you had to use something, then you had to peel the plastic and pull it off. But now, uh, you know, with technology, uh, they've come uh, with something much better. Yeah, the ta tamper resistance are great. Yeah. Because the, way, the way they work is they have a mechanism inside, and it needs even pressure on both of the slots of the outlet for something to plug in. So if your kid picks up a paper clip or a small screwdriver or something and tries to jam it in one side of the plug, it's not going to go in there. They're not going to get electrocuted. Unlike the old days, or the not too long ago days, where that is a Thank you. very yeah. real possibility. <laughs> and, I mean, even in my own home, Bob, it was built in 95, and we just recently upgraded them because, you know, a 20-year-old home, and we still had the plugs that were uh, non-tamper-resistant. Uh, 
they, they are dangerous for, for little kids, grandchildren, that sort of thing. You know, the interesting thing about doing a video is uh, we're staying to topic, and it, 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 it's, it's so nice to be able to share things with people that can make them safer. And, and, and not only that, and maybe more effective and efficient, but you know, you, you take your car in and you spend many, many dollars over the, the length of you own a car. Uh, I mean, I have a Ford, uh, and I'm not, you know, flogging uh, Ford by any chance, but it just came to, came to my mind that I take it in and, and it gets its maintenance done and it's, you know, you, you, you do it on, an, on a regular basis. But the interesting thing about electricity, because it's so quiet, you don't even know it's around and you're not getting anyone sending out notes that you should come in and change your oil and stuff. But you know, uh, like you say, Kevin, as time goes on, everything really needs maintenance. Well, thank you for joining us today, Bob. Always a pleasure. And uh, be sure to check out our website, uh, halopower.ca, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Check out our website at halo.